Hi guys, so today I'm going to show you how I make my very flaky Nigerian meat pie. This is a Nigerian meat pie but with a really flaky pie crust. So this is me mixing up my ingredients. All the measurements are in the caption, the description. So be sure to check that if you want to make this. It is so easy. You don't need a mixer, you don't need any equipment, just your hands and you are good. One thing you have to remember is not to over mix. You just want to mix it until they are combined and you're not kneading, you just get everything together and once they are combined like this once it has come together you just wrap it in your cling film and pop it in the fridge to rest you always want your pie dough to rest so now we're going to boil our potatoes you only need about two potatoes two medium potatoes and we're now going to make our filling fry your onions and your ginger and garlic all the ingredients like i said the measurements are in the caption so don't worry you don't need to worry about the quantity i'm using next up i add up my ground meat my minced meat and you want this to be 80 percent meat to vegetable ratio no no scrimping on the meat here you season it as required and you are going to make sure that this is the most amazing meat pie that you have had and once you can make this you will not even you will not need to buy store-bought meat pie so we're going to cover it to simmer because we didn't cook, cook our potatoes um to be really soft we just um, cooked them al dente so it still needs to cook we're going to add some water and let it simmer and just come to a boil and let all your ingredients just combine nicely together so once that's happened you're adding about two tablespoons of flour to create a nice slurry and now for the last we add in our vegetables and we just mix and let that come together and we'll still add a little bit more water we want a nice slurry like this you don't want it to be dry because you just once you bake it it still gets um, dryer so now we're back to our dough pop it out of the fridge and you roll it I tend to divide it into two so that it's just easier to handle and um, I roll it out into circles so you can make your you can use any size of um, circle cutters you have depending on how big or how small you want your mid pie and this is me wetting the edges it's important so that when you cover it it sticks together and you don't have any licking now also you i know we all love full pies but the truth is if you overfill it you're not going to be able to cover your pastry so you need to have at least half an inch um space between your pastry and the ed your filling and the edges now before you pop it in the oven we need our uh, egg wash egg wash is uh, like a, um, a ratio of one egg to about a quarter cup of water and then you cover it and this is our meat pie it is so ready it is crusty look at that crust it is delicious absolutely delicious and then look at your filling the filling is moist and absolutely beautiful trust me guys you want to make this meat pie this is the meat pie you want to serve to your guests and yes that's me that's uh, enjoying my meat pie thank you for watching and have a great day please like and subscribe and this encourages me to make more videos like this